Yo, what's really good? Welcome back to Fly Nation TV. It is your boy Dean Nice. I am back with another video. Chef Adar, you already know the Supreme Bot. For those that don't know the Chef Adar, check out my last video. Everything you need to know is there. Exactly how to run it, how to utilize, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and check that video out. But right now, we're going to talk about the update because they definitely updated to version 2.1, and there's a couple of changes that you may want to know. So, uh, for those that already have the bot and you don't know how to update it, mad simple. All you're going to do is you're going to right click the icon, you're going to go to manage extensions, and then you're just going to hit this update button. That's it. And then you're going to close it, and then you're going to open it again, and then you boom, you're good to go. Alright? Now, with that said, um, we're going to go over a few things that they change, alright? Uh, as far as the standard mode, alright, you're going to see a, a disclaimer, right? So, you got to make sure you read carefully. You want to make sure your card is empty, uh, especially five minutes prior to the drop. All right. So you don't want to add something that you don't want to get. You get what I'm saying? So let's say if you was testing it like me, I'm testing a bag. All right. So let's say I forgot to remove from my cart. What may happen is this Thursday, I may actually cop it with the bag. I mean, I may cop the items that I get along with the bag. So I'm spending extra for, for something that I don't really want you get what I'm saying so always make sure the card is empty another thing too is if you want to browse while running it I would highly suggest you go to incognito mode because what happens is when the, when the bot is being run is it is pretty much triggering items to add the cart or anything like that so you want to make sure you go to incognito mode so that way you can avoid all of that confusion for one thing you want to end up paying for something that you don't really want all right so yeah all right, so another big update, and this one is I'm very excited to use, is the keyword modes. All right, so we're gonna go through each one. We got the standard mode, which is the one that we already went through on my last video. You have manual, so that way if you wanna type it in manually on your, uh, if you wanna look for the items manually, you can add it, and then when you check out, it'll still auto check out without that issue. Um, and then you have endpoint mode, which is the cool mode right here, all right? So endpoint mode, pretty much, is like standard mode but it's a little quicker and by quicker it, that means the endpoint mode goes directly to the item page instead of going to the home page then the item that is searching for so um, it's basically skipping a page so that means it can save you a couple of seconds uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how both of them work uh, as far as standard and endpoint modes go so I already have a keyword already set and for like I said, if you want to know about keywords or how to use it, how to um, make a list or anything like that, I would just check out the last video. Everything that you need to know is there. All right. So um, in this case, we're going to go to keyword backpack. The color is black. The size is any. Remember, anything that has one size, you want to put any because uh, if you put large or anything like that, it, it searches word for word. So if you want to type in large or if you leave it blank, that is not gonna trigger. So you wanna put any, all right? And then the category would be bags. Now, uh, make sure that is also uh, the, the letter, each letter are the same. So uh, if you put bag without the plural, the S, that means that it will not look for the item. It's pretty much gonna pretend like it doesn't exist. All right, so those are the keywords. And we're gonna hit standard real quick and we're gonna show you exactly how that works, all right? So let's go ahead and hit go. All right, so you saw it went from the home page and then it went to the back section, then it went to the actual item, then at the cart. All right, cool, that's great. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove that. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna change it to endpoint and we're gonna see the difference, okay? So check this out. All right, you saw that, right? It, instead of going to the home page, it went straight to the item and then it add the cart. So that can save you a couple of seconds. And um, I guarantee you in this particular release, every second counts, okay? Um, also, what they did was, if you haven't noticed, they actually, instead of just filling it in, they did an auto type. So it's typing it in for you. That means if it types in, the Supreme can detect that, so that way that it won't be like detected as a bot or anything like that. So um, kudos to Chef Adar for even putting that in. So the next thing is in the restock, all right? Now the restock mode is really cool too. Now 
you have the restock URL, which is any URL from Supreme. So if I wanna, if I wanna get like a, uh, so if I wanna get this, all right, in a medium or any size in this case, I'm just gonna right click the link, all right, and then I'm gonna paste it here. And usually on the last video, it can only do one restock. Now you can do multiples. All right, so you can add one, you can add two, you can add ten, you can add twenty, you can add the entire like inventory. It doesn't matter. It's it's gonna gonna search for it. All right, and you can actually put on AFK mode if you want, and then it's gonna search, and then it'll open it up and everything, and boom, you're good to go. All right, so let's um let's let's give this a shot real quick. So we're gonna run it. All right, all right, manual CVV, so that way the CVV won't run, and I have all the sizes checked. So if I don't want a specific size, I want to make sure all the sizes are there. All right, so let's hit go, and let's see. All right, so right now it says waiting for restock. It, it already found something. Boom, it added. That's it. Mad simple, mad easy to do. Um, yeah, man, this is the future. This is the wave, yo. So um, that's the two most important updates. All right. Um, one other thing that I want to mention is um, a lot of people are wondering how to use multiple accounts. So you know how with most bots, you know what I'm saying? Like whatever key that you get, you can only use it once. And for you to use it again on, on another device or another account on google chrome you have to deactivate or whatnot well with this it doesn't do that it allows you to use as many accounts as you want so for example if i'm using this one uh this chrome under my account all right and i want to go ahead and get another one so i'll open this or something like that i'll go to settings and then i can just go ahead and uh, switch users and i have another user right here and then i'll switch it you can also do that too. Uh, just be mindful that some accounts that you make, you may end up getting captured. But this one, um, I've been using this for so long, for years, that I don't even get captured on anything. So I just want to let you guys know, be mindful and be ready for that. But guys, um, this is pretty much a good way to utilize most items. That way you can get different orders and you're all set another thing too is servers okay servers are very important all right i'm gonna go ahead and cut the clip here and then on the next clip you're gonna see me use a different server all right so uh stay tuned for that all right so here we go so this is a, a server called google cloud service it's basically a web server um it's pretty cool it gives you a different ip address and the internet speed is od now um there's other ones as well uh, such as uh, Amazon Web Service and then there's one more I forgot that one but um, either or man um, if you guys want to learn how to get an own server or anything like that just just go ahead and YouTube it it's mad easy to find uh, Amazon Web Service has a sneaker one uh, I'll put that link in the description and then um, for the Google one I'll also put that link as well uh, something that I would recommend that I've learned from but um, either way man this is pretty much one of the best um, things to have as far as having a bot so that way if you don't want proxies you can go ahead and just use this and you're good to go so what i'm going to do right now right i'm going to open this as i said all right and i'm going to show you the difference and why it's important to have a server all right so i'm going to go to speedtest.net all right so you're gonna to go to speedtest.net and um the server that i have is in ashburn virginia all right so uh, Ashburn, Virginia, and I'm gonna hit go and watch this. The ping is at one millisecond. That is the most important thing, right? This ping right here, if you get that set, and then you're good to go. It's not really necessary to have one, but I would recommend it just for a couple of reasons. One, it's faster, and two, chances are if you get banned, you're fine, you're good to go, all right? So, um, yeah, man, um, that's pretty much it for today. If you guys have any other questions, just feel free to comment or hit me up on the Discord in the Chef Add On section, or even check out the developers and the admin as well. They'll be more than happy to help you out. And if you guys are interested in getting this bot, the link is in the description. They do a weekly and a seasonal pass. The weekly pass, I believe, is $10 and the seasonal is $70. So, and we do giveaways for weeklies as well. So, uh, why not? All right, man, it's your boy, D-Nice of Fun Nation. I will catch you guys on the flip side, and I'm out. Peace. I'm
the best MC. North, South, East to the West MC. Skill wise, big up my chest MC. Big up Lady Lee, shop, big up your rest MC. Like who's gonna test MC? I tell my dons go fetch MC. Don't leave.